Hey, this is Barry with the Divi Project. Today I'll be doing a quick video on how to get your Divix out of uh, my Ether wallet into Cryptopia and do a quick trade for Ethereum or Bitcoin. All right, so the first thing you'll do is you'll want to go to my Ether wallet. All right, so then we can come over here. Uh, you might be using a Trezor or something else. I'm actually using a key store that I got. I created a little temporary wallet here just for this presentation. Put that up here. All right, so you can see all right, right here it already says I have one Divix in here, but uh, the first time off you might have to come over here and say show all tokens and find your token in here and hit click to load. And then if you have Divix in the wallet, then it'll show those Divix in there. So we can go click to load on any of these and see that we don't have anything in there. But we do have one Divix. Uh, showing up. Where did it go? All right, so there's one Divix. And so we, one thing you, we can do is click that and we'll want to know somewhere to send it. So what we have to do is we go have to go log into Cryptopia. And as you can see, I've already logged in over here on Cryptopia. And so we'll go over here to um, deposit Divix. All right, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll do, highlight that and uh, just I think maybe if we hit that, yeah. uh, we'll just highlight and copy that and we'll take it over to our Ether wallet. That's the address that we will be sending our Divix to at Cryptopia. And we want to send our entire balance of the Divix. All right, so another thing that you'll have to be careful for is to make sure that you have a small amount of Ethereum. I've gone ahead and preloaded $5 worth of Ethereum in this wallet. You have to have some Ethereum to pay for gas to, to move your Divix. Uh, this is like to pay your transaction fee, essentially. That's what gas is. All right, so we're sending our entire balance of um, Divix. We have a little bit of Ethereum to pay for gas, and then we're going to generate transaction. So send transaction. What does it say here? Got our gas limit. It usually does a good job of setting an automatic gas price. Um, we've got our token, our address, the, oh, this is the, should be the token address on there. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and generate the transaction. Sending one divvy to 3E7, we can verify that again. Yep, 3E7. All right. Okay, so it says intrinsic gas too low. It probably means we did increase our gas limit. Uh, I'm just going to say 100,000. Let me go send transaction. So I'm sure. All right, so it's been broadcast to the network, and now we're just waiting for the transaction to go through. You can click here and go to EtherScan and look at the transaction. Looks like we're pending, pending, pending. Okay, so you can see here we have 25 confirmations on our Divix transfer to Cryptopia. We can come over here to Cryptopia where I'm already logged in. Uh, we can come to, over to Account. We'll click on Deposit History here. And you can see our one Divix has deposited. We have 20 out of 20 confirmations. Initially, it might take a few minutes, I think five minutes. You get about one confirmation every 10 seconds on Ethereum, which is where Divix um, moves through. All right, so if we go back to the uh, market here, yeah. you can see um, the, uh, we can go to Divix. We can search for Divix. And there's Divix right there. And uh, Divix, as you know, is the exchange token for Divi once the Divi blockchain launches. Uh, you can see here the price is roughly $7.81. Um, this is a convenient plugin built by one of our com community members to help you um, see what the dollar price is for all these Bitcoin prices, which are kind of hard to interpret. Um, that plugin is called Divitopia, 
and uh, you can see it over here. It's available on the um, on the uh, Chrome extension plugin page. All right, so um, we find our Divi uh, our Divix uh, market here, and we can see buy and sell orders. We'll be selling Divix today, um, which means that we'll be matching our sell order with buy orders. Um, if you click the top buy order down here, what that does is that creates, that auto fills our sell order with the, the buy order that is the highest price. So we definitely want to sell our Divix for what the highest price is. But one thing to keep in mind is that if our sell order is for something greater than the highest buy order, right, this highest buy order right now is for 40 Divix. Say we wanted to sell 100 Divix and we put in a sell order for 100 Divix at this price, 72030, right, which is what's been autofilled here. If we want to do that and we put it in for 100, then it'll fill 39 Divix worth of that order and then the order will just sit there until somebody comes and puts a buy order in to fill the rest of that order. So there's a chance that the market could slip one way or the other and your sell order never gets filled. Um, so let's go ahead and just do one Divix right now, which uh, there's definitely enough of a market for right now because we can see if we look down here, there's uh, this highest buy order is for 40 Divix. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put in our sell order for one Divix at this price of 72030. Uh, and you can see it's been submitted here. You sold uh, one Divix for the price of 72030. And we'll, we should be seeing a higher Bitcoin um, um, amount in our account now. So we can come over here to account and we can go to our trade history. And we can see, oh look, here we have, you can tell I did a few trial runs with a few one Divix amounts. And we got another one Divix amount here, which is the one we just did. And so that means we now have a little bit more Bitcoin in our account and one less Divix in our account. That concludes uh, this video for uh, figuring out how to get your Divix to Cryptopia and get it sold for Ethereum. Uh, I guess one more thing we can show is how to uh, get your Divix or get your Ethereum out, how to make a withdrawal. Uh, one way to do that, uh, or your Bitcoin, sorry, you can't exchange Divi for Ethereum. You have to exchange it for Bitcoin on Cryptopia. So you exchange your Divi for Bitcoin, and then you'll be able to see your balances here. And so we can come over here for withdrawals, and you just click the withdrawal button. And it'll show you um, how, to, how to withdraw. Notice that the fee is three Divix, so that can get pretty pricey if you're uh, withdrawing on a really frequent basis. Uh, also, it might make sense for you to verify your account so that you can withdraw more at once. Uh, you can only withdraw 5,000 New Zealand dollars worth on a daily um, basis. So probably would make sense to verify your account so you can withdraw more and don't have to pay that fee consistently day after day. Uh, you'll put your amount in here. You'll grab your address from um, whatever wallet you're using to withdraw. If you're withdrawing with Divix, then uh, make sure you don't withdraw your Divix to an Ethereum wallet that isn't compatible with ERC-20 tokens. What does that mean? That means don't take your Divix to Coinbase. Don't withdraw your Divix to Coinbase. You can pretty much just withdraw your Divix to my Ether wallet. It's your only safe bet, uh, unless you know what you're doing. And for Bitcoin, uh, if you're withdrawing your Bitcoin, you might go to, you can definitely withdraw your Bitcoin to other places. Uh, the only thing you want to make sure is that you don't send your Bitcoin to a Bitcoin cash address. It's the only thing to be careful with Bitcoin, but like you can move your Bitcoin to Coinbase. So you go to Coinbase and grab an address or your Jax wallet or uh, whatever wallet you're using, blockchain wallet. Uh, there's plenty of wallets out there. And you'll put your amount that you want to withdraw. Um, you'll put your address in and it, it, it saves your address right there. And then... Um, You'll enter your PIN and hit withdraw. All right, so that concludes this video for today. If you have any questions for us, uh, we'd love to chat about them in our Discord. 
Um, we have a lot of very knowledgeable people there that have been uh, doing this for a long time. We would love to chat about it. Uh, meet us in there. We have uh, Discord has apps for the phone, for uh, desktop, all kinds of places. So uh, we'll look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.